Choose a template that has the dotted lines on it. Fold it on these lines. Just in the template, behind the door lap, and underneath the frame. Hold in place with some tape and pilot drill the holes. Reposition the template a little lower for further reference. Position the hold up and catch the spring attachment so that it's to the top of the door closer. Remove the locking bolts on each end of the door closer and save for a further date. This allows the brackets, the electrical connections to move up out the way for the fixings. Door closer can now be fixed to the door. Replace the little screws for electrical connections so they hold them firmly. When assembling the arm together on the push side of the door, take the arc wheel, take the bolt from underneath. Collar, sleeve, washer and nut. Then you take the steel washer, the nylon washer, and take the arm and fasten it through the second hole and the shoulder bolt with the washer goes through the second hole and into the door closer body. So the swing free on the push side of the door. So the second part of the arm is on the top and the arc wheel faces outwards. Fasten the arm to the inside of the bracket. Connect the wiring together to find a little notch, tighten with a lock tight. Switch on the electricity. Bring the two parts of the arm together and slide one inside the other. Holding it so that this part is parallel to the door frame. Do the end socket and with a spanner or wrench turn the pinion to the desired angle where the catch plate is in your desired angle for lock tight in it. That is the magnet set leaving the door free to swing as required. Now it's all fixed together. Switch off the electricity and the door will be picked up from whatever angle it sits and close and reset on the magnet. You can now switch it back on and open the door and it'll hold back on the magnet. Break out the necessary pop outs. Suit the handy of the door closer and slide on to place. Secure with the fixings provided.